So Belle, you are sitting there waiting for me. And the table's not ready, but she's up here. She knows her thing. I haven't seen Belle in um, a little while. Maybe almost a year. Oh man, our pets get old on us, don't they? Our pets get old on us, don't they? Yes, they do. What? Don't fall off the table. <laughs> You're so sweet. Don't fall off the table. Hmm. Okay, seven down here. This blade is out, needs some servicing. I mean, we just did that yesterday. She's got some rawness back here. I'm hoping she doesn't have fleas. You know what I mean? Rawness on the very back back is not a good sign usually, but it could be allergies too or something else. I haven't seen her in a while. Mom said she's got more fatty tumors and there's one right there. So I've got it under her um, torso rather than under her, because she's a tall dog. So I've got the large dog upstand under where it would just touch her body there. Doesn't need to push up, it just needs to, to feel like some support and see how this works for her. Oh yeah, we got lots of sores back here. Through the skin, I can kind of see them. There's some red sores here, missing some hair. I am really looking for fleas, so always keep your eyes open. Because if you have fleas in this facility here, we, if someone else comes in, it's going to get fleas. So you have to pay attention to what you're doing so you don't pass fleas on. It's like hair lice. Worse, it's worse than hair lice, but it's very similar. glue or gum in there. I'm barely even touching her, helping her stand, so that's awesome.
doesn't like her legs messed with. I remember that. No, 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 no. No, no. I don't know if you guys are still okay. Yeah. So you can kind of see like the sore that's standing out right here, you know. You can't see it well on the camera, you're just not here. So some of those sores are, are there. I got my hand up back there so I can watch the dog up stand. Same thing here. If you are running into the dog up stand, if you have one already, you know, watch this. I mean, move it around if you're going to do under the tummy just for safety. come back with the 10 on uh, some of these other areas so I'm gonna just skip over and come up to the front of the legs here look up no look up Keep the teeth um, pointed down, not the blade on the body, so. And you never have to dig onto the skin. You might catch something, so don't dig. If you get some uh, pulling back off with your clippers. teddy bear feet because she hates it so much okay why are you licking your chomps why are you licking your chomps huh let's double check uh, the back of the head here a little bit with the seven we've always left a real fluffy interesting large breed poodle fluffy head so we're gonna do that probably I'll get a good picture now because I do know she doesn't like her head blow dried at all. Um, I'll try to get a decent picture of it when we're done. 
We're going to go down to our 10 now. Maybe I should do the 10 with you guys there. I'm going to do the armpits. Come here. No, that's the edge of the table. Down the chest here. She's got a lot of uh, fatty tumors, so just don't be digging. You know? I'll come over there after I'm gonna, since on this side of the body, I'm just gonna come down the muzzle here. This is her thing. Clean the ears out real good. They were always infected before, so she said they just went to the vet. Just gonna get some of this hair out of there. Again, it's the hottest part of the body that I, I think is. I think the ears are the hottest part of the body, so I like to clean those out. I'm gonna tin reverse here, draw that line. We'll fade later. My eyes are real seepy, so I'm thinking a food allergy actually, or something in the food, causing her body to just not uh, just be inflamed. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. She's kind of fighting me. Bell. Bell. Bell, this is a serious area here. Come on. Close your mouth. Close it. Close your mouth. That. That. You see? That. No. No. Get all that out of her mouth. However, you can get that quickly. Let me see. No. Bell. 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 I'm not even doing it. Bell, Bell, let me see, let me see. Stop fighting, girlfriend. Okay, good girl, good girl, better. We're not even doing what we were doing, but okay. No, 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 no. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, so we'll, um, let me come down to the feet here with the 10 first before I move on. Just kind of grab some areas that are kind of hanging around that you missed because the 7, you know, you're not going to tell a huge difference. You, this is a 10. 10 up under the pad there and down. We're going to leave teddy bear feet. I think there was gum somewhere down in one of their feet had gum. I'm not trying to dig, but if there's a mat, I need you to get it out. Because she hates clean. Ah, 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 ah. Get all that out of there. You see? You see? Clean up that dew claw so I can see it later. It's like I'm doing scissoring, but I'm using my tin, you know what I mean? Okay, we're moving on with our tin blade. And we're gonna come and move the good dog up stand and kind of get in there and do under her tummy. This way. I'm 
We started doing her tail. They had come down the tail here. I hadn't done that before. So I'm just following suit now because um, it's all bushy, you know what I mean? Growing back. So I just follow suit from the prior place that she just came from or had been going to. Come down the legs, do the top of the feet here with the 10 as well. Just as if I'm hand scissoring, that'll save me some hand scissor time later. Don't dig with your clippers. Got a lot of skin flaps in here and mattedness, so try to work that out slowly and carefully. It's got some mats in there underneath her tummy and all that. Move all the skin flaps around. Whew, it's heavy, you know, and I'm barely even moving anything around. Okay, lift this leg for me. Let's see what you guys are seeing here. Okay. Let me see. Don't get mad. Let me see. Don't get mad. Let me see. Don't get mad. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Good girl. Whew, okay. I gotta come back and finish the face. I'm gonna switch 10 blades. up for me. I'm going to move this over here. Can you look up for me? I'm going to get you guys over on the facial now. Sorry. Okay. Can you look up for me? Look up. Look up. If you're talking to the dog, um, I don't always need to talk to the dog, but if you're using those same words you've been using their whole groom lifetime with you, then they'll know what you're trying to do. It, they'll just learn it, you know, just like when you say sit, you know, so. So if you want them to do something, say it, and then every time that it happens, you know, well, there's a mole there, gotta be careful. Remember I told you don't dig, so that's awesome. <laughs> That's a little one that looks like a tick, so I need to write that one down so I don't ever take that, wipe that right off. Look up, please. That one right in my face. You okay? Come here. 
Good girl. Good girl. Let me see. Watch your skin flaps. Real light because we did a seven, but there's so such closeness with the seven and ten. Just you're kind of it's just like hand scissoring, you know, it's scissoring some stuff off here. So just real light cleaning that up. Now the head, you guys. Pads, I guess, will do last, or we can do pad, whatever you want to do. We got pads, nails, and head left. And I've got a hair in my arm. Get out of there. I'm gonna brush her tail while I'm back here. Her head first. I might have to do something different with the ears, but I'm gonna do the head first because I want to say the ears look like they're tangled pretty good. Okay, do you see this? What we're doing? Okay, brushing every little fine hair forward. On her, I mean, we're barely shaping the head, we usually leave it like a bush, you know, so floppy, long, and bushy. More of it. I got this hair. Seriously, I need to go sh rinse it off in my elbow. So I'm going to lower her so she's about at a better height for me. come over here and work with the ears. I'm going to start in the back here. Yeah, we definitely have tangles. Lots of them. So get your D matter. Your mat tool like this, your mat breaker tool. And there's a couple things we can do. You can do this. Let's see how much time I end up spending here. If it's not that much, I can press, but if it's more more time then I might come down with my tin blade sideways. But Cynthia, I have to call her back. I'm gonna uh, book this pet clicks thing and uh, I think she wants to book so that's great. Break up some of these knots here first. Hair, right? I'm gonna take these down shorter. I can feel that the water is um, in the ears, you know, and building up, which is why we're getting knotted down at the bottom there. So I'm gonna definitely trim these.
Can you come this way? Just a little bit. She doesn't like her head or ears blow dried, so we want to finish up what we want to here in the head now before bathing, because it's not gonna, uh, we're not gonna do a full blow dry on the head. So much hair. Okay, let's see here. Move your head over here, please. Ears don't smell good at all. Definitely know that there's issues there. They've been there all her life. And I've sold it, Mom. And okay, so we haven't hit the bath yet, but I did ear cleaning, ear plucking, toenail trim, pads, and this is where our end product keeps. Her ears are infected, so she's shaking her head quite a bit. So this is going to be our end product after the bath, but it's not going to be exactly the same because she's not going to get a blow dry. She's got a bunch of lumps. Um, hey baby! So that's our end product just so you guys can see it before we uh, sign off. Thank you!